We have one, two, three, four, five. How many, how many bait bags do you have, man? Too many. Too many. Too many. Let's go out on the street. Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here, back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new vlog. And today is the beginning of Sneaker Talk 2.0 daily vlogs on sneaker talk and today is a big day today we're flying to japan this is my first time ever flying by myself for like an international flight so we're flying to vancouver first and then we're going to stop there for three hours and then it's going to be a 13 or 14 hour flight from vancouver to osaka japan and then we're going to take another flight from osaka japan to tokyo japan this is crazy so there's a lot of traveling today let's go One thing I need to do right now is get some food in my system. I pulled an all-nighter last night making videos and editing them, so I have no food in my body. If only the lineup wasn't 50 people long. All right, I starved today. Just got off the very first flight to Vancouver. We're here at the Vancouver airport now. Bumped into Andy. This guy's a hype beast just like me. I peep the Yeezys too. <laughs> he's not a subscriber, but he's watched a couple of videos, so that's pretty cool. Right now we're both lost. We don't know exactly where to go. Boarding passes don't say what gates to go to. So both of our first time uh, doing some international flying by ourselves. So it's a little scary. Walking through the airport, it's pretty huge. It's like a giant shopping center and I find it very sneaky that they like make the airport almost a maze where you have to walk through like stores and stuff. We're in another store. This is like the third one I've passed and I'm just getting to my gate. They really want your money here. So as you guys can tell, we're here in Japan now. We're at the uh, Kansai Airport in Osaka. I have to catch one more flight and that's to Tokyo. So I'm here at my final destination where Kenji Toronto is supposed to pick me up. We're at Napori Station and uh, I'm freaking out a little bit. I have no idea where to go and they don't have Wi-Fi so I can't contact them. Oh man, this is stressful. This is, I'm freaking out right now. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna have to try and find them somehow. So I luckily found the sign that says there's free Wi-Fi available. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully Kenji can get back to me ASAP. So we're inside a convenience store in the train station, trying to figure out what to drink. There's so many options, oh man. So yeah, let's uh, do a little haul and see what snacks I end up getting. So I ended up getting this milk cocoa drink. I think it's like chocolate milk. I'm hoping it's chocolate milk. It was like about two dollars. Hey, <laughs> how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So right now we're getting like this Presto Pass for the subway, so that my life is easier. And ooh, it's hot. <laughs> it's fresh, damn. So yeah, my life's gonna be easier traveling in Japan. All right, so we're heading to the Kenshi Trap House right now, but uh, before we get there, we have to stop by 7-Eleven and uh, withdraw some money because I have no Japanese yen on me, and uh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Wait, do they have like slushies here, like in Canada too? No slushies? They have like I don't know, just some good food, now. but don't don't get anything there. Wait, are you hungry? I'm not that hungry now. You see that store right there? It's Lawson 100. It's like a dollar store. Oh. 
Is it open right now? Yeah, we're gonna go. It's 24/7. Okay. Sweet, so. sweet. All right, so we got some money. Unfortunately, one of my cars didn't work. But the next stop is a food run. We're Lost going to Lost in 100, where everything is under 100 yen. It's 100 yen. Instant ramen on deck. Okay, most important purchase of the entire month right here. Conditioning is so good. All right, yo, what's Gucci? Kitchy house tour, babe. Washers here. Okay, okay. Chill area over here. This room is a shower. Japanese shower. Dang. That's tight. Then upstairs where the magic happens. What kind of magic happens up Ooh, there? You'll find out soon, baby. Great magic. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a girl just like waiting there. <laughs> Usually. The sleeping quarters? Where I live, yeah. But pretty non standard for a Japanese crib. Like, not at all. Wait, hold on. I'll make ideal lighting. <laughs> so we just got back to the Kenshi Trap House, and uh, I'm gonna set up to get my stuff in order. They're gonna get some work done, and then I think we're gonna go to a Japanese McDonald's right after, but... Uh, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be pretty it's lit. Be really I'm excited. Lit. You you know how much I love McDonald's. Yo, you know I how much I love, love McDonald's. McDonald's. Japanese McDonald's. But before we do that, and before I get my stuff set up, I wanna give you guys a little lowdown about what is happening and why I'm here, because I really haven't given you guys an explanation uh, as to why I'm in Japan with the homies Kenshi Toronto. So I think we uh, we do that right now. So I'm here with the homies Kenshi Toronto. If you guys don't know about them yet, you guys are sleeping under a rock. They are the Yo, ultimate babe. vape plug. So I'll leave them linked down below. I have a promo code with them too. So if you guys haven't used it yet or you wanna buy some vape, check them out at kenshi.ca. Kenshi.ca. And you can get 10% off with the code sneaker talk. Follow them on IG as well. We run, we ran a couple of vape giveaways too. on Instagram too. And we might have a couple more in store so make sure you follow us both on Instagram so you guys can get some free bait we have to do a little bait tour and show you guys what inventory they have right here alone which is is, is crazy so much bait in here so I'm surprised your place hasn't burned down yet to be honest with you too much fire we're gonna be grinding out a ton of content this week photo shoots vlogging sneaker shopping in Japan we're gonna check out a lot of streetwear stores so if you're into sneakers if you're into streetwear if you're into any of that kind of stuff you've come to the right channel because this week is gonna be all about Japan and we're just gonna vlog the entire time so hope you guys enjoy this week we have one two three four five how many how many bait bags do you have man too many too many too many far too many so these have been selling like hotcakes so if you guys want them check out their website kenshi.ca i also forgot to show you guys what i got from the corner store grab some toothpaste because i forgot to pack toothpaste and i also got one of my favorite noodles in canada shin ramun shin ramun gonna shower i'm all sweaty from all the travel today i've been traveling for i think like 19 hours plus and it's just been a brutal long long day so need a shower and then we're gonna get going to mcdonald's all right so i just put in a bunch of work with the kenshi crew we were just working at the table for like the last couple of hours literally four hours these guys were packing orders like non-stop so hustling and replying to messages and everything we're, we're really hungry so we're gonna go to mcdonald's if you've made it this far into the video make sure you comment down below mcdonald's gang mcd's and, uh, gang that's that's how we know if you're real one guys already know we had to go with some small fries these are fresh these are super hot we got some nuggets right here by a piece we got some green pop I had this earlier today and was amazed by it Japan it's like the Hulk pissed in a cup melon Fanta this is like 
uranium colored fan. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. That's why I'm still up, actually. Looks like Shrek's piss. I'm honestly stupid. I could have gotten a Happy Meal and I could have gotten like a rare limited Pokemon toy. I like this guy. Bro, look at these ketchup packets. They're not like plastic bags. They're actual like... This is, this is intense. And yo, know, the employees at McDonald's and like all the stores here, they're so well-mannered and polite. It's like a total contrast compared to Canada. Until they're done work. No, no. We out here playing Pokemon Go in Japan. That freaking Pikachu just ran away from me. Ruined my freaking day. I wanna go home now. All right, so we're done at McDonald's. That was pretty good. I should have really got that Happy Meal toy. I'm still hating myself for not getting that Pikachu toy. Richard's on the phone getting his booty call action happening. And uh, Nathan's just chilling right now. I'm so tired. We got some dope stuff planned for you guys this week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. And uh, oh, God, oh, he's and coming. follow me on Instagram at Richard Murky. There you go. There you go. So if you made it this far in the video, follow Richard and comment McDonald's gang on his latest post. And he might give you free vape if you DM him for it. Okay.